Hello! In this particular video, we're going to go through the process of how to handle deposits that come in from Shopify. So what Shopify does is it will deposit into a checking account the net amount of the sales made for a specific day. Net meaning they keep their fees out before they deposit the funds. And if there's any refunds that were also issued through Shopify, those will also be taken into account as well. So one of the many things that I absolutely love about QuickBooks Online is the ability to set up what's called recurring transactions. And essentially that's a template that you can use over and over and helps to save some time. So I'm just gonna open up another window here with QuickBooks Online in it. And I'm gonna go to recurring transactions, which you get to through the little cog icon in the upper right hand corner. Here under lists, you can see recurring transactions. And here you can see I have Shopify sales deposits. So I'm just gonna click use um, because this is unscheduled because the amounts are always going to change. So typically what I do is I have this open in one window and then I have my banking transactions open in another window, which is why I right click to open um, QuickBooks in another tab. Shopify I have set up as my customer because in this particular case, we're, we are not keeping track of sales by customer. We only care to identify the money as coming in from Shopify. So the first thing we have here in this list that I currently have is for 311 and the net here is 7114. So over here in another window, I have Shopify open and where we need to go then here is the lower left hand corner, go to settings and then this menu, you wanna select payments. And here then, I'm gonna check view payout, so click that button. And I don't have a whole lot in here to do, so I'm just gonna go ahead and work directly from this screen. There are times um, if there's a lot of stuff happening or you have a backlog of stuff to do, where maybe exporting the data into an Excel sheet is more beneficial, but in this, this case, not necessary. And this first one here then that I'm looking for is 7114. And this is a fantastic example that I can use because there's actually a refund here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so we can see all the detail. So you can see here the gross was $98.30, fees 402, but then there was a $23.90 refund. And then Shopify gave back 70%, 76 cents of the fees that were charged when the original 2390 was paid out. All right, so this is a fantastic example to work with. So over here in the window with my recurring sales receipt, put the date, gross sales. You can see I have this already set up in my template, 9830. And while I'm here, I'm gonna memorize the 402 fee so I don't have to bounce back and forth a lot. Forth a lot. Always put the fees in as a negative when they're being deducted. Now I do need to add in another two lines to handle the items of the return because the returns aren't very often. That is why I do not have it set up on the recurring transaction template. And so they deducted $23.90. See, 23.90 here, so I need to take that out. And I need to add back in the 70 set 76 cents fee that they gave back. Good Lord, I can't speak to save my life. Okay, so the total of this sales receipt now should be 7114. Perfect, which also matches what we actually received in the bank account. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and close. Now I'm gonna go on to the next one. Hopefully this is one that does not have a refund. So you can just see how it works when there's no refunds attached and you will have the opportunity to have seen both scenarios. So the next one I'm looking for, 242.75. I'm gonna go back here to Shopify. I hit the back button in my browser to get back to this payout screen that I was currently previously at. Uh, this one has a refund, so I'm gonna do this one here, the 85.44. 
So the gross sales, we have 88.33, fees of 289, and the payout was on March 12th, but due to that being a weekend, it actually came into the account on 314. Okay, so I'm gonna go back again to my recurring transactions. Again, I'm going to click use on my Shopify sales deposits. The deposit date into the bank account is 314. Gross sales, 88.33. I'm copying that so I can paste it. And I'm gonna memorize the 289 fee. Right, net deposit is going to be 85.44. That is absolutely perfect. Now let's go back and let's match those two transactions that we've put in. So over here in the matching area, if I go ahead and click recognized, you will see it automatically picks up the two sales receipts that I entered in throughout this video. I'm gonna go ahead, I know both of them are correct. Obviously just saw me do the work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select both of them. And then here under back, batch actions, I'm going to hit accept selected. And now there we go, we have them done. Of course, as you can tell, I have another handful here to finish up, but hopefully this gives you a really good visual on how to handle the payouts from Shopify in both scenarios, just gross sales minus Shopify fees and the gross sales minus the fees plus a return and the refunded fees.